Welcome to Uninet's second instructional video for the iColor Transfer Rib software. In this video, we will get into specifics on how to use the layout tool, color removal, using rasterization, and configuring your graphic for transfer onto dark material. When printing and pressing onto garments, it's necessary to select the white toner profile and set your system to B configuration for white overprint. This is a photo that was pulled from the internet. If you're familiar with video game pop culture, this is a meme from a poorly translated game called Zero Wing. The grammatical errors are intentional. What I want to do here is turn this into a landscape image, remove the orange background to avoid the square box look, and adjust the overall design so it can be transferred onto a black shirt. What this will do is eliminate much of the black in the image and allow the shirt itself to represent that color. This will make the hand much softer, save toner, and give the shirt a much better overall look. By default, the Transfer Whip software imports all images in portrait mode. Because of this, we will use the layout tool to turn it 90 degrees on an 11 by 17 sheet. This can also be done, of course, using your favorite graphics program, but the transfer rib makes the process easy, without having to manipulate the original graphic. Let's delete this and click Layout. Click New and name your job. Click Next and load your file. Click Next and create a new sheet which will be 11 by 17 with a zero degree rotation. Now that you have a landscape sheet, add your image. If you click Save with the default parameters, the graphic is placed as a portrait image. Right click the image to edit the parameters. In this case, we'll increase the size to 110%, flip it 90 degrees, and adjust the page position to center it on the sheet. When satisfied, click Output. Name the job. Choose the white toner profile and click Output. The new job will populate in the regular job selection menu. When you click it, you will see that the image is now in 11 by 17 landscape. Click the image to proceed to Step 3. Here you can remove or change colors among other things. To remove the background, click Remove Color, then click on the specific color in the image you wish to remove and click Save. Set the tolerance to 8 or 9 and the color will disappear. In step 4, we can choose the density of the white overprint. In this case, we will choose 250% with an underfilling or choke of 2 pixels. Here is a graphical representation of how much and where the white will be placed. When satisfied, click Next. Since we are transferring this image onto a dark shirt, select the screening recommended for dark media. In this case, media means the substrate we are pressing onto. Again, this setting will remove much of the black from the image automatically. Dot shape determines the appearance of the grid points. Euclidean or line are the two recommended styles. Euclidean is an oval shaped dot and line adds separation lines within your graphic. For this example, we will use a Euclidean dot pattern. Angle varies based on the dot pattern. For Euclidean, an angle of 52.5 is recommended. This will give you the least visible moiré pattern, which is the most pleasing to the eye. Highlights determines the size of the smallest raster dots. The higher the value, the bigger the smallest point. If you have missing dots in your result, increase the value. Typical range is between 8 and 10. 
Shadows determines the size of the empty space between the dots in a specific range of colors. Typical value is 92%. The mask determines how separated the raster dots will be next to each other, or the way the image is broken up, to allow better durability and breathability. The lower the value, the more separated the dots or lines are, as well as lower visual representation of your graphic. Commonly used values are between 25 and 30. Finally, the Shadow Tolerance option determines exactly how much black or dark colors will be removed from your image. The higher the value, the more the dark areas fade away. A tolerance of 120 is usually sufficient. Click on Preview to see how your image will print. In this example, you can see how much less toner will be laid down when using these options. Set the media type to transparency if using the iColor 2-step standard paper and print. Here you can see the final product. The result is a soft and breathable image that will last a long time. Thank you for watching.